So I know we had a 12 valve starter pack, uh, but it's got more than one turbo and we didn't really have any way to get the exhaust out. So we just kind of got, got some holes in nice fiberglass. <laughs> got some holes. <laughs> just tap it, just tap it, tap it, tap it. So on this truck here, it, uh, it came in and uh, kept leaking coolant. So we were trying to diagnose it and figure out where the coolant was leaking from. Uh, pulled the tappet cover and found that the freeze plug from the tappet cover was pushed out and um, leaking. So took the tappet cover off, replaced that. And while it's here, he decided he wanted to do a set of compounds. So we have it all torn apart over here and getting it prepped and everything moved out of the way so we can put some compounds in it. Today we have a truck that came in with a rod knock. Uh, well, we're suspecting a rod knock or either a wrist spin bushing going bad. So I'm in the process of pulling the engine out. We got a reman engine from DNJ, I believe that's what it would be called. It's kind of a custom stock uh, stock build. So we're going to just pull it out. We just replaced in the short block and uh, going from there. So we don't we won't be tearing the engine apart, replace and fixing it here. DNJ already did all did all of that. It came on a crate short block and it's gonna be a, a fairly quick yet uh, more efficient. Brian Smith's 2012 G56 truck on the dyno. Has 125 horsepower nozzles, stock CP3, has a ADA turbo kit over this, has an S480 over the stock VGT. We're going to flash some tunes in it and see what kind of power we can make with it. All right, after a few brief flashes, we ended up making 689 horsepower on the max effort tune, which is really good for a stock CP3. Uh, tune four made 640 horsepower and tune three made 530 horsepower. We uh, heard a little bit of a head gasket flutter, so we didn't want to run the truck anymore since he drove three hours and doesn't have another vehicle. So. We will get the thing unstrapped and send him on his way. Hey guys, uh, we're about a week and a half out from Rudy's. Uh, we're trying to get charity case all done up, uh, get the cage finished in it, get a bunch of stuff finished up. Uh, we have a trains to put back together yet, doing a hood, a bunch of random small stuff just to get the truck from where it was to where it is now. Uh, when we got the truck, there was just a lot of issues with it. And then we dynoed it and it had a lot of issues there too that we found out. So got a new drive shaft, got a new trans, uh, and a lot of other things. I have Landon, Landon's helped me. He's donating all of his precious time to help me. And uh, so we're gonna try to get a lot done tonight and basically work through the rest of the night and the rest of this week and next week uh, until we leave on Thursday. So stay tuned and hopefully it makes it down the track. Hey guys, uh, getting ready to uh, prepare ourselves to put in the Suncoast Transbrake valve body in this. Working tonight on getting the shift noid in, getting the shifter set up, 
for the reverse manual valve body that's going to go in it. Um, hopefully we get this set up to where this will fire and it will automatically shift every time and we're going to try to control that through the anteater. We've got a long way to go before Rudy's in the next week, but it should be fun. All right, we got Christian Merck's truck on the dyno. It's a 2016, uh, was a 68 RFE truck that we did last summer. We did a Comp 3, a Firepunk Comp 3 swap with uh, Firepunk Porcupine, Firepunk Anteater Pro on it. Has 60% injectors, a 12 mil CP3 stroker pump, and 366, 475 compound setup. We had it on the dyno last summer. We got most of the surge out of it, or when it left here, it wasn't surging. He changed a few things on it and it created a surge. So that's why he came back for a trans service and to for us to tune the surge out of it. No, not that angle, you can see my double chin. Okay, we're struggling here a little bit on this truck. We've got a rail surge that is just not pretty relentless. We've changed the modded FCA for a stock FCA, and we've turned the lift pump pressure down as far as it would go, it'd go down to like 14 PSI. But when we unplug the lift pump, the surge goes away. So we're gonna uh, clip the actual regulator spring down so that we can get the lift pump pressure down to say eight or nine PSI and see if we can get that to go away. So that's what we were working on with the air dog. Um, hopefully we can get this surge smoothed out and uh, get this thing wrapped up. All right, we got Christian's truck finished up, got the surge tuned out of it, made 808 horsepower on max effort tune. Pretty good horsepower numbers for the setup that he has. Uh, on tune one, he made 587 horsepower and the rest of the tunes are just spaced evenly. So we will get it off the dyno and send them on the way.